Award-winning author Armin Melikan presents Journey to Virgin Land, a gripping tale with sobering commentaries on culture, religion, history, and philosophy in a post-9-11 world. I head home an hour before twilight from my research at the National Library of the Academy of Sciences of Virginland. The sleepless nights have me worn down. I need to unwind. The day has lengthened, the biting cold retreated, but it's still early to go to Moscow. Out on the courtyard, the dogs are having a veritable feast. The trash trucks haven't showed up again today. All for the better, my buddies are still alive. Ever since the army unleashed Operation Kill the Dogs, I get a jolt whenever I hear the clatter of machine gun fire echoing from indefinite directions. Sometimes I feel glad I wasn't born a dog. But really, am I, in fact, not a dog? (laughs) At any rate, I'm not in a particularly dog-like frame of mind when the doorbell rings. It's Kathy. She always calls before coming over. I sense that there's something up. True enough, she's crying. I've never seen tears in her eyes. Sex is outlawed in virgin land. One morning, a girl I was in bed with asked, Do you like Britney Spears? Who's that? You don't know who she is? I can't imagine such an ignorant man in this day and age. And why should I know who she is? I was an ignoramus. I did not raise a dog, preferred to raise children. I was insensitive, a real dog. I did not know any of the three or four word Eiffelian dishes names on the restaurant menus. I was not civilized. Las Fortunas left me cold. I had no love for life. I did not know the names of actors, pop groups, or movies. I was a strange man. I was neither a Republican nor a Democrat. I was not a human being. I did not have the flair for formulating opinions about political leaders. On George W. Bush, oh please, boring. On Bill Clinton, yuck. I had no conversational style. I did not wear designer clothes. I lacked taste and social status. Making women laugh was not the overarching aim of my life. Though I wasn't bad at it, I was dull. Michael Jordan did not fascinate me. I did not watch the Lakers. Images of the governor of California, whom the pornosis worshipped, made my stomach churn. I was not manly. I did not jog. I was not modern. I observed traffic laws. I was always in control. I lacked adrenaline. I accommodated. I was a homosexual. My being was not beguiled by Satan's cultural frippery. I was a man without frills, like a Sufi. Satan ran, I walked. Satan walked, I sat. Satan feared me. No, Satan, you shall never be capable of loving me. Every once in a while, a novel comes along that shakes up the foundations of what we know to be true. Journey to Virgin Land by Armin Melikan. Winner of five National Book Awards in Literary Fiction, General Fiction, Best Fiction, Humor, and Comedy. Now available at these retailers.